Victor Gyokuresh is a striker that you need to know. He's highly sought after by a load of clubs, including Manchester United, Chelsea and Arsenal. And today, we're going to tell you why. Victor Gyokuresh is a Swedish striker. He is 25 years old and he's currently applying his trade at Sporting Club de Portugal. Now, he moved to Sporting Club de Portugal from Coventry, where they failed to gain promotion, but he really set the world alight with his goals, with his hold at play, and his ability to bring others through into the game. Now, we're going to take a look at some of his stats and really describe why he's one of the hottest strikers in the world currently. The first thing I want to do is really highlight his season heat map right here. This is for Sporting Club de Portugal, and as we can see, he's pretty much everywhere. Highlighting really the depth that he has with his build at play, his ability to traverse himself through the pitch, and he finds himself out on these wide areas quite a few times. And considering this is a striker with good scoring pedigree, he's got a good range of goals about him, he can score from nearly anywhere, and he's really got a good dynamism to his game. And then you look about the dropping into deeper midfield positions, his ability to really carry the ball and drive forwards, he's really got everything that a modern day complete centre forward would need. Now if we take a look over on this left hand side, we can take a look at some of his strengths as well. He is good at high pressing situations, that's really common in and among a lot of teams nowadays. His finishing is good, clearly from some of the chances that he's been able to take. We'll go a di bit deeper into his numbers a little bit later. And he's a good anchor. You can pivot off of him. You can ask him to hold the ball up and then recycle possession to allow your team to get further up the pitch. Of course, he's got a weakness in ball control, but I think that that's going to be something that can be worked on. 25 years of age, so he's just starting to come into his prime, and he's really shown what he can do in the Portuguese league. When it comes to stats, he is pretty much a monster, if I'm honest with you. He's managed to get 22 goals in his 24 games played in the Portuguese league from an XG of 15.45. So he's vastly overperforming his XG. It means he's being clinical. He's able to take those chances. But at the same time, he's also missed, if you can see here, 10 big chances. So if you were to convert at least half of those, that's giving him just a number of goals, 27 goals possibly in 22 matches played. And if you give him all of them, it's 32 goals in 24 matches. That's incredibly impressive. But of course, people miss chances, so he's got the 22 at the moment. And then we talk about how he can link up with this team. How does he go forwards? Well, he's already got 10 assists this season. And for a striker, a centre forward, that's extremely impressive. That's 32 goal contributions in his 24 matches played from an XG, or an XA I should say, of 5.2. So he's expected to get 5 assists and he's actually got 10. Players utilising the chances that he's created just allows him to better himself that little bit more. He averages 1.8 key passes per 90, which means that he's not only able to get on the end of a lot of passes, but he's also able to make sure that he can be a danger going forwards. And he's just got everything about his game. He's extremely impressive he's quite quick and he's able to hold the ball up and bring his other teammates into play truly a proper proper number nine he's also incredibly impressive when you compare him against other teams and other players in particular i've got him compared against erling holland one of the best players in the world currently ollie watkins who is having a sensational season with aston villa and darwin nunez liverpool's main number nine striker going forwards who's really starting to shine in that liverpool setup now when we compare the amount of games they played they played generally the same amount Gyokuresh has actually played less than Ollie Watkins, but generally the same amount as the rest of them. And he's got 22 goals, and that's higher than Erling Haaland. It's higher than Ollie Watkins, but it's a lot higher than Darwin Nunez. Now, one thing that you could say is that he's playing in the Portuguese league, so it's naturally a little bit easier to score, but the numbers that he's putting up really are indicating a player in there. 10 assists as well is extremely impressive, and when you compare his goal contributions just in general, they're a lot higher than the players he's currently being compared to, and they're no slouches. 
but when you look at his underlying numbers not just the ones he's able to get he's really really starting to make a mark 97 progressive carries that's him picking the ball up and driving with it whether it be from a wide position or through the middle it's a lot higher than the likes of Erling Haaland it's a lot higher than Ollie Watkins and in fact any of the players here 97 progressive carries is just fantastic and if we have a look at the per 90 stats that's four progressive carries per 90 and the only one that gets close to that is Darwin Nunes with 2.63 he receives the ball a lot higher at the pitch as well and a lot more and he has very good progressive passing he's got nearly everything to his game and i think he is just a proper proper center forward if we have a look at some of his shot and goal creation Jokeresh actually has 0.8 goal creating actions per 90 that's higher than Haaland, Watkins and Darwin Nunez and well, just when it comes to creating shots for the rest of his team Jokeresh has 111 shot creating actions but 4.6 shot, shot creating actions per 90 again making sure that he's able to create a shot making sure that he's able to provide for his team while also scoring a bucket load of goals he has nearly everything taking away the possible critique of him playing in the lower league I think that he's really starting to show what he can do and when you look at his shooting that isn't determined on what league he's in he's able to really put up some really impressive numbers he averages 3.27 shots per 90 but what's the most impressive thing for me is his shot on target percentage that's this stat right here he actually has a higher shot on target percentage than every player that he's compared to better than Erling Haaland better than Ollie Watkins and better than Darwin Nunez he is just fantastic his shot distance is the furthest or nearly the furthest away than all of them but he's still managing to get his shots on target he reminds me a lot of Harry Kane making sure that he gets a shot on goal because obviously the more times you hit the target the better chance you have of scoring he is a sensation to me and I can definitely see him being picked up for another side but at the same time he's defensively aware as well 16 clearances 17 tackles and interceptions he's able to go back and do that little bit more for his side and that for me is really really impressive but when we scroll down and have a look at some of his aerial jewels remember he's tall he's strong he's got the ability to pick the ball up and then recycle possession he has 45% win rate when it comes to aerial jewels. Only Erling Haaland is better than that, and he's got a 10% extra extra amount over the likes of Ollie Watkins and Darwin Nunez. Victor Gilcrash is going to make a move, I would have thought, to a different side. His numbers are off the charts, and he's able to continuously take that step up. I mentioned previously that he was at Coventry, and he's just taken like a duck to water, moving from Coventry in the Championship to Sporting Club de Portugal. I think a lot of people would argue that the Championship is one of, if not the most difficult league to play in the world, and then moving to a completely different place with a completely different setup, and doing as well as he has done taking the Portuguese league into consideration I think he is a sensation and it doesn't surprise me at all why so many clubs are after him stats are one thing but I also think it's incredibly important to highlight how good Victor Gjokeres is during a match and in this we're going to be looking at a couple of moments to really highlight his difference in approach and his just unique versatility when it comes to being a striker so this is the lead up to one of the goals we have the wing who's going to be attempting to play the cross in a moment and we also are going to be highlighting Gjokeresh who is right here currently dueling with the opposition defender now what we're going to look for here is his movement his ability to really go one way and then another just to create himself a little bit of space the winger is going about to play the cross out on this left hand side and again we're highlighting Gjokeresh here he's almost positioning himself to go one way when actually he's going to go another and it's going to create himself just an extra angle to be able to get on the end of this cross the ball gets played in and as you can see the goalkeeper is not going to get there this defender is not going to get there and there's still a duel here Diokrish positions himself just in front of the defender to make sure that he can get a touch on the ball first 
This is great awareness, it's great determination, and it makes sure that he is able to get the first touch and the goal. Really well done. Now let's take a look at another moment. Now we talked about his positioning in and around the different areas. In particular, his positioning to go out wide. Gyokuresh is actually right here. And what he's going to do is move himself over to the wing and wide areas. Now, not only does this give this player an out to be able to play it down the channels, but it also moves and positions this back four just a little bit more. It causes so much havoc and so much space for the Club de Portugal players that I think it's incredibly good and just really good movement, selfless movement from Gyokuresh that allows him to be able to get on the ball. We forward it just a little bit more and he's in currently in a 1v1 situation with the opposition player. Now, he could cut it back and then play his teammates in, that's one of the options, but instead what he decides to do is just do a couple of dummies, a couple of feints and allow himself to cut inside. This moment is extremely pivotal. He has belief in his his own ability he has the drive to really go forwards and he is in co the commanding situation he is actually dictating the way that this is going to unfold and I think this is incredibly impressive he knows what he wants to do in a 1v1 situation he sends the defender one way he goes another and it just allows him to create that little bit extra space Look, he's moved the player out of the way. He's now going to take his shot. The other defender isn't going to get near him. It's not there, but he's going to take his shot now and rifle it towards the bottom right-hand corner. And look, there is no one near him. This is down to the movement that he's created and his ability on the ball to really make sure that he can create himself that little bit of space. He finishes it off with a treat and it just showcases a different angle and a different way that he's able to really play up front he's got different avenues of the way he can score and he's also very selfless for the team here we see him picking up the ball again out on this left hand side remember the channel plays are extremely useful with his scenarios and he just really does a lot for the side we can see one two three sporting club de portugal players through the middle of the pitch which has pushed him out wide he's selfless he likes to play where the team needs him to to create that space he drives forward and in this particular instance he can't find a route to goal because he's being blocked by a couple of players. One, two, three players currently in and around him which means that he can't go central. He can't go inside even though there's currently one, two, three, four players waiting for some kind of pass. Instead he needs to utilise his physicality, utilise his pace and go on the outside of the players which allows him to just to create an extra angle create an extra opportunity he keeps going he's currently in a duel with the defender he wins this duel due to his physicality due to his determination and he keeps going keeps going round, and he finds his pass he's able to pick his head up after that extremely physical altercation and make sure that he's able to find a teammate now, this is down to the Sporting Club to Portugal players being available, being ready, but it's also majorly down to Gyokuresh, who is able to find that space, find that moment, and then have the awareness, have the calmness of mind to pick that pass. He plays it through into him, as we can see right here, and it gets finished. Now, this is both an assist, two goals, and just showcasing his various talents in and around the penalty area he can drive with the ball he can get on the end of a cross he can make sure that he can open an angle for himself he's strong he's tall and he's just got everything i think he's going to be one of the major signings or one of the major players if he were to leave sporting club to portugal one of the major players that a lot of clubs are looking at and this is why he pretty much has everything but my question to you guys is what do you see going on with him? Do you see him leaving in the summer? And if so, where to? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, my friends, take care.